Ah! Obi. No. Exactly. And that's our opening. <laughs> get up to rock! Get up to burn! Stand me the pride and burn for your desire! What's up, gamers? As always, this is a special Kumite podcast where we have my homie, my rival, my gamer in action, Obi Debo. Damn right. Damn right. What was so special over the past weekend, you may ask? Maybe you haven't, <coughs> but we're going to tell you anyway. Guilty Gear Strive open beta happened for us who pre-ordered and it was open to the rest of the world so we had a lot of fun with that going on because the anticipation is killing us oh yeah killing us as we're still a month away from release april 6th we may get a day earlier than other people but still we're here to talk about the game since the beta is finally finito and we're do sorry for those that couldn't play but you'll get a chance if you pay for it now and wait for it to come out so, Obi, yeah. let's discuss. See. So, like I said, I got a few notes here, but, you know, sometimes we go off script. It just keeps us on track a little bit. But yes. what is the first thing you would like to discuss? That lobby. <laughs> okay, we're going to skip through the notes and go into what could be improved. Because, because, because this one hurt me the most, the lobby. The lobby itself hurt the most. Oh, my God. Elaborate. Arc systems. I know you're not listening to me, <laughs> but still, can can we please not do the whole? I'm gonna move my character over to the other character, and then we're like, oh, we can play now, yay! No, let us get into a room with a list of names that want to play. Really simple. That's it. I know you're trying to get really fancy with the whole lobby thing and you want to make it a hotel lobby but come on stop that it it's only going to make it worse there were times that like my character is on the second level here mm -hmm. and then you're right here and then out of nowhere this happens <laughs> <laughs> i extend to the heavens I'm like, <laughs> I'm like where'd you go and you're telling me that you are right here but mm -hmm. you're up here <laughs> Now I'm the... like, oh, okay, since you're right here, let me move over. And then next thing you know, your character that's up here does this. And now we're one. Mm -hmm. It's awkward. <laughs> now, to play a little bit of devil's advocate, I get what Dre is trying to say. That, well, I can't even remember what he was He had an argument, or uh, not an argument, a rebuttal to that whole, how we hate that whole um, lobby system that Arc System does. Where you create your character, it's cute and all that, but yes, we still have the problem. Unless it works properly, like Guilty Gear Exert Rev 2 did it, where you have an arcade room, and y'all sit at a table, and then boom, y'all can start up a game. This one doesn't really work well. It feels like they overthought it just to be more unique in a way. But like Obi just said, characters move away from each other. It's really hard to get a connection going or a fight. If you keep on jumping around all over the place when you try to initiate combat, yep. it's weird. I mean, they did it with Dragon Ball Fighters, which is also another simple way of doing it. Just meet up with people, you meet somebody, and a circle forms around y'all, and y'all duel. You have to see y'all bashing each other a little bit, then. It's the same concept with Guilty Gear Strive, where y'all pull out your unique weird weapon, and they see y'all just going at it. At it, at it. It's cute, but still, it's just like... I feel like there's a lot of pausing going through it because you got to wait for that person to stop fighting. And you, even though the fight is over, we're still seeing them go at it until one of them falls away. And then you still got to go to the next person, connect, and start up a fight again. Unlike Tekken 7 or Soul Calibur 6, where you just have a lobby room, people's names, and y'all just rotate whoever wins. Same thing with Street Fighter 5. Same rotation. Why well, can't it just be that simple? Right. It saves time. But yeah, Arc Systems wants to be unique, and I get it. And yeah, I totally understand. I completely understand, and good on them. But the, the fact of the matter is, if it, if you already had lobby issues in the previous games with the whole, like, we're trying to get cute with it, then maybe, you know, not do it anymore? Well, Extra Rev 2 luckily didn't give us no issues when we had a lobby system. Yeah. That was because... It was still small. 
And it was simple because you just go on an arcade machine and wait for somebody to sit down on the other side of the arcade machine and you start combat. That is simple and it was actually pretty good. Yep. Now, I didn't get to try out the online ranking system because it seemed like the online ranking might have been the whole, you go into a fight quick. Right. Because it seemed like when I tried to start up but I couldn't connect, it let me go into a practice mode. So right. I don't think it has that online tower lobby thing. I feel like the online tower lobby is the practice area for it. If you just want to fight casually with people while you go into ranking matches, it just jumps you right into a fight, which is pretty cool. Because that's the same thing with any other game with ranking. You just go into practice, and they boom, they throw you into a fight with somebody. Right. So most likely with this, I haven't done a lot of ranking matches in online fighters in a long time. But I think with this one, I might go more into rank matches. I'm, I'm actually getting the... Thanks to you and Dre, I've been getting the FGC bite, the edge, the want to compete, the want to fight people online for some strange reason. Even though I know the net code is trash because a lot of people don't have our godlike internet. But still... Dominos! I know, right? Dominos! <laughs> but I've been wanting to get because I've been actually doing some online fighting in Tekken Seven and actually been kicking a little bit of booty, but you know. <laughs> I need to get back on Tekken. Yeah, we all do, but I mean, my biggest fight game is definitely going to be Strive because I love it. Oh, absolutely! I want to give it the dedication that it needs that I should have been giving it to Exert, and I feel like I've been missing out on something like that to even build something from that. Maybe even go into tournaments. Who knows? Just to do it one time in my life, just to go into a tournament where I feel like I can control my anger now <laughs> and not get tight with people, especially the hagglers out there. You know what I'm talking about, Obi. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but, um, go for the it. net code, the, okay, so lobby aside. Yes. The other thing that was that, that, that hurt. And the, I think the reason why I'm going into for like the negatives first, and I know we that you have a no, that's a list fine. Of things, yeah, is that is that these things are just two things, just just it's just, just two, they're just two. I could be I could be an asshole like everybody else that has the other problem that I'll lightly touch, but the second one is is part of the net code. Mm-hmm. The net code was really really good, but I also understand that this was a beta, that there's going to be some issues, and there were. Yeah, we're. But thanks to Dre, <laughs> I can't believe this worked. <laughs> I, I'm actually not surprised because I just didn't think about it. No, that's the thing though. Like I, I, I'm not surprised at all by it I, at all. But the 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 fact that like we didn't think about it first or like wasn't even in the radar, you know what I mean? What was what is what really makes me laugh about it. So for the people out there that you know. Might have some issues with it with the netcode or something. The beauty about the PS4 and 5 is that you can connect to each other. Yeah. If you're really next to each other, I can. What we did was he hosted um, no, the we, gameplay. Yeah, I hosted. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah you hosted the gameplay mm-hmm. on your PS5. Mm-hmm. I logged in as your second player, mm-hmm. and we kind of cheated the system. And we had a better connection. <laughs> and it was awesome. It was, it so, was so awesome. It was great. It was so good. And and again, being that I'm I was a second player logging into your stuff, that meant that it was it was technically streaming from your PS5. Yeah. Thankfully, we both run FIOS. Got that FIOS, baby! You hear that ladies? The only thing from Verizon <laughs> that I'm like, yeah, FIOS. We're not at all we just know it's good so anyways uh, <laughs> even though there were times that, like i saw some some pixelation here and there mm-hmm. it wasn't really bad and in front of me is my gaming tv which is a 55 inch of yeah. course i'm gonna see every little imperfection i'm not even i'm like two feet away two feet away and there it is so <laughs> so of course i'm gonna see some things um, was there latency? Yes, but very, very min- like, like, like that, like that little bit, <laughs> little bit. I didn't <laughs> notice a thing. I, yeah, you're, you're not gonna notice it because it was on your machine. Well, I didn't notice anything because you were still beating my ass during that whole session. So, well, I mean, the the, the that whole session, 
it's like I told you. Once I figured out that like certain moves can connect the way they did, I'm like, mm -mm, I'm gonna make sure they all connect from now on. Nice. And that was my goal. That's so why cool. I like fighting you because you make me learn. Because as the more we was fighting, the more I started learning more of Giovanna. And wow, she has a kick ass combo move, which I thought it was a combo move, but it's actually a super. Because if right. you do the jump knee kick and you hit the half circle twice into circle, she goes into this combo move that made me knock you across the freaking level. And I was like, yeah. and I was like, I need to learn how to combo that into the combo. Because if I go into the yeah. combo, do the knee thing, then get combo, 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 that would be like a 20 hit combo. Get it? Combo. Get it, combo. Guys, <laughs> But yeah, netcode aside, I didn't have no problems really. It was no, the, the, the netcode, the, the beat about the netcode that they're using is uh, nuts. I don't want to say an old one, but it's one that always works, that yes. never fails. Yes, it, it never fails. Like I mean, yeah, there there's some. It, it rolls back a couple frames. I think it's like up to six frames or some shit like that. Yeah, or maybe less. I forget, but it's just it's just so good. It's I so agree. good. Is there's no there's no predictive there's no nothing it's just it just knows like oh yeah no this this happened so let's let's go back and make sure that they get the points. I agree. So so kudos kudos, kudos for that. Kudos, Arc System, you did a great job. Okay. Yeah. But wait 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 wait. The, but wait, the third, wait 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 wait. The the third thing that I could bitch about, but I'm not because I'm not a asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I I know why they changed a lot of the move lists. Oh, yeah, we don't fresh. get into that. We don't get into that. Keep it fresh. I enjoy it. There were some things like, yeah, sure. I'm doing a move that I usually do in the previous Guilty Gear. It changes now into a different move, even though it's the same, you know, uh, down back uh, kick. Mm -hmm. It's really doing something else now. Well, this is what I want to definitely get into. I like the fact that they change things up. It makes gamers, especially veteran players like us, evolve with the game yeah a lot of people bitching about how yeah the characters the technical uh things are not working like before or their kicks not there anymore they right. evolve they learn something new their moves were changed just like how jen kazama unlearned his old style and made himself a new style and people had to relearn jen kazama and now we got to relearn all these other characters because even chip doesn't have the same moves as no before. he no, he doesn't. None of them do. So that's good. So it's like it's giving us a technical new game in a way Absolutely. without keeping all the old stuff. It's going to evolve, and people got to get with that program. I mean, Tekken's been doing it for, for Tekken 7. Eons. I mean, yeah, come on, man. And I love it. I love it. Every every new season, they're like, oh, yeah, we added a new move, or we took this one away and put this one in. Even Street Fighter Five yeah. added some new stuff to their characters. Dan even plays a lot better than before. So it's like, right. that's weird. But going back to Guilty Gear, when we yes. talk about his one complaint that made me go like, what? Mm -hmm. Somebody was saying that all the characters hit too hard. Like, they all hit like Potemkin. And I kind of disagree with that. I disagree. Not kind of. I, I do disagree because when I replay in my videos that me and you even fought with different characters, mm. Chip doesn't hit as hard as or normal because he's more of a speed fighter. He gets you a lot of... He's going to hit Chip you damage. <laughs> He'll hit you 50 times and it'll equal to like two or three yeah. soul bad guy slashes. But then when you got the new character, Nagiruyuki, he hits as hard as Potemkin, which makes sense. He's a big dude and he got a lot of power, yeah. But he also got distance too, so that's another thing. I mean, seriously, this is one slash. My character's over here. And one keep in mind that it gets longer when he goes into blood rage. So, <laughs> But he still had a lot of disadvantages though. Yeah. Uh, oh, so absolutely. bad guy hits like a fucking freight train. Like Jesus Christ, this guy, this guy over here. Oh yeah! Just, if anyone wants to fight me on Guilty Gear, don't, and if I take so bad guy, just 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 quit. Just stop. Tell me to stop my shit. But even Kai, don't, don't challenge. Don't challenge my soul. I don't soul know what guy. they talk about, but Kai definitely feels technical because he has a lot of nice yeah. chains into his combos. What I use, I think I used with you before it kind of crapped out on us, and mm -hmm. it was fun. Yeah. So I don't, I don't get that whole thing with people saying that they all hit the same. I was like, nah, no. I do not agree. And I don't agree either. That I know, uh, reveal looks. Ooh, her new costume design. 
That hat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hat. It's like the size I was of the looking at. I was, I was looking at the hat too. <laughs> like, hi, um, I know. Wait, hold on. Let me. I'm I'm off balance. My hat. I know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, her new skill sets look freaking awesome. And the whole devil. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it wrong. No, it's called Dragon Rage, right? Uh. Cause so far you got so bad guy who has it. Kai has it. Now Eno has it. Is it I know Eno? I feel like Deadpool right now. He's trying I, to say I, I, I color Eno. But um, yeah, it's the Dragon Rage. I was gonna say Devil Trigger because I know it's gonna piss off a lot of people. If I say it that way. But um, it looks pretty cool. But I re I did some move set learning. And with Kai, it's a very tricky thing to do. Because to pull it off, your health got to be like... When you're about to die. And mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think I want to chance it. Because I'm never really dead. I mean, oh, I could actually. We had our health a little bit at the point. But it only can activate if your health is like my meat. Yeah, he, his face like changes and shit. And so that's like your last resort move. I think you pulled it off before. Yeah, you did. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't even have to look at Soul Bad Guy's uh, move list. Yeah. Until that one moment. Until that one moment that I was like, wait a minute. I need, I need to, to find this. out. I need to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. And speaking but of, it's. For some reason, Soul Bad Guy and me, we're like this. Yeah, y'all. Like I mean, me and even... Chip, we, that would, that's our guy. Yeah, that's our guy. But honestly. My waifu, Giovanna, I'm Giovanna. Her, her doggy style. <laughs> but, oh, <excuse> <laughs> my, my thing was always Chip, then Soul Bad Guy. And then yeah. on the last one, it went whoop, Soul Bad Guy, Chip. And now we have Giovanna that I thought she was going to be like, maybe that. No, nope, Giovanna's like, it's like oh, Giovanna, oh, oh. Chip, mm -hmm. and now Nagiyuki. Actually, no. My bad. Giovanna, Nagiruki, and how and Chip. Then, yeah, Chip will always be in the top three. Because I've been doing some nice finishes with him, and I played on very hard mode against Will Champion because he's definitely a powerhouse that I would recommend anybody to train against. Right. Because he does a lot of weird, tricky things, especially his face. He's like the P-Jack of Guilty Gear. That's how I put him in that cassette category. Because he does a lot of... Because he also got the gun arms... Yeah. That he does. He got that face slam thing, and then he'll do that powerhouse drive on you. So he, he kind of reminds me of P-Jack, in a Absolutely. way. So Absolutely. I would definitely mm -hmm. rent anybody to, if you want to do some practice, that would be the person to practice with, because he can close the distance, especially with his slam like that. It's freaking crazy. So, yeah. yeah, and plus, like I said, he'll take you out in like three to four hits. Oh. He is too goddamn hard. And, they, and I like how they do that. Yeah. But... Yeah, other than that, I'm ready. I just I just want I just want the game now. But let's yeah. talk about all the fighters. Like how many other fighters did you try out? <laughs> I mean I no. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. No. I just needed those three. That's it. <laughs> gotcha. I tried out Axel who has some new power sets. I tried out Kai, Giovanna, Soul Bad Guy. Uh, and I'll get a Yuki because he was the staple of reason why I was cu curious about Guilty Gear Strive. Yes. Since he was like that hidden character in the first teaser. I was right. like, who the hell is this dude? Like, with the mask and everything coming from the barrette in the back of his hair. And everything mm. like that. So, but, wow, the new stages. And let's talk about your favorite subject, Obi. The music. I'm so happy. <laughs> it is so good. I'm so happy. I hope they add it to Spotify because I want to listen to it on the go because... Each stage has its own special music. Each character has its own special music. And they really go in on this. I remember they did a dev diary talking about the band that plays the Guilty Gear music. And I was like, wow. And I was like, I know Obi noticing. He's always the music guy when it comes to video games. <laughs> so I was like, yo, what? It's, life. it's bacon, then music. Oh, bacon, then. Oh, don't even get me started on bacon. But, um... Yeah, when it comes to the stages, I wish they gave us more random stages when we picked the characters. But right. I learned the workaround to that. When I was playing the single player um, 
fighting mode, I set everything to random, and it did give me a loop of random stages. I think that's yeah. the one thing we didn't do that we should have done. So even the music got changed random, and seeing the other stages, I give Arc System props because this animation design style that they're using for this game is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And I wish to God we could bring back Darkstalkers because I would love for them to make that game. It will be so beautiful. But that's just my own personal opinion. Yeah. I think if anything, they can do it. But then again, it's a Capcom thing. Yeah, I know. Capcom, don't be selfish. Let them have it. Let's let them have it. Let them do it this one time. No, no, no. Namco and and Square, Square Enix, yeah, both of yous. Yeah, Square you. Enix. I want my Tobo back. <laughs> nah, fuck that. I got a better one for you. Bandai Namco, talk to Konami and get Bloody Roll back. The reason why I'm saying. Get I'm bringing in Namco Bandai is because just just give me two characters from Tobol into Tekken Seven. Ooh, ooh, if they did that for Bloody Roar, but then they'll yeah, have to change up. I can see two characters from Bloody Roar making but it. But they in. will have to give them a transformation mode, though. I mean, we we are playing a game where a dude goes demon. So I mean, I mean, yes, Devil Jin, yes, that can happen. So, yes, please. That would be nice. Let's put some characters in there and see if they get popular, which I know they will. Yeah. So make it happen. Yes. All right. Yeah. So we're coming to the close of this. What would be your closing thoughts, Obi? Get rid of that lobby, bro. <laughs> and then you'll have a perfect game, honestly. I mean, as of right, as of right now, the it's, I, mean, I get it. It's beta. There are things that are going to be wrong. And... Things are going to be so good that's going to make us go, like, why is it taking so long to make this game? But the other thing is, please. And I think, I thank them for taking their time on this game. Thank you for taking your time and making a no damn good game. Because technically speaking, this is going to be the first real official PS5 game. So I'm looking for, oh, I mean, yeah, it is. Well, yeah, Godfall. Uh, 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 no. Yeah. Godfall was one of them. Yeah. Miles Morales as Technically, well. Technically, yeah. Yeah, it Technically. was. Yeah. Um, but that's besides the case. There's, there's Actually, like I'll say this. It was, it's the first official PS5 fighter to come yeah. out. So yeah. good on you for at least doing that. But, yeah, I don't really have other closing thoughts just other than I like what I'm seeing. Yeah. Dark systems. I'm liking what you're doing. But I do have to agree with my homie over here. That lobby system needs some work. But I might be mostly in online rankings anyway instead of dealing with that BS tower. Because I know what the tower is there for before you go on online. It sees where you're supposed to be at. Right. I was on the A floor. And if you play bad, you go to a different floor. So it gives you an idea of what your skill set is. I get yeah. it. But it's time to just break the band-aid and just say what Tony Stark would say. You must run before you walk. And on that note, thank you all for checking us out right now. Kumite Nights will be back more often. I do apologize. It's on me, honestly, because I've been busy and fighting some certain situations that I don't want to talk about with y'all because I love y'all and I appreciate y'all, but that's my business. <laughs> so we're going to definitely have some Kumite Nights before Guilty Gear Strive come out. So we, oh, we want to do some Tekken Nights and stuff like that. Set up that absolutely, up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna work on your schedule because we both need yeah, to that's, sleep. That's the thing. We all got busy. Pan yeah, we all got busy. The pandemic, this is an amazing idea because we were like, I don't know what's going on. And now that we're slowly getting back into a new normal. A new normal. Schedules get messed up. But straight up, here's the spill. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Please discuss with us what you just heard and saw today. If you play Guilty Gear Strap. Please share your thoughts. We don't care what you got to say. We want to talk, rebuttal, discuss, all that stuff. And other than that, yo, you can check out my boy Obi on his channel. He's doing a lot of nice, nice tutorials and videos showing off his speed drawings and stuff like that. So we're going to put that link up in there. But as always, beast out. Move.